Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Designer and the Contour tool. It's a recent tool that they've added to Affinity Designer. And what does it do? Well, it creates contours. Unfortunately, not multiple contours, just a single contour around a shape, open as well as closed paths. And this is a, an open path. I'm just going to remove that. So what can you do? Go over here to the Contour tool. But you need a path to work with. And there's obviously a quick tools over here. I'm just going to go run through a few of the different tools. So here's a simple rectangle. With a rectangle, what you can do, you can go over here to the contour and then you just add a contour. And that's all it does. Unfortunately, there's no feature to keep the original path as well. That would be really quite nice, sort of feature that suddenly adds additional paths. So you could combine them. Anyway, obviously you can do that manually, copy and paste to bring it back in again if you want to do that. But what you can do, you can, it's a live effect, you can come back to it later. So if you go and work on other things and then come back to it, you can always change it. So you just tweak it until you bake it or convert to curves, basically. What you can also do, and I'm just gonna go back now to that thing. Unfortunately, what you need to do here, if you want to just use obviously this, you need to convert to curves. So you actually get the curves. You can click there and you convert it to a curve. So now what you can do, you've got the nodes here. Well now, as soon as you dot that, you've got the nodes, what you do, go back to the contour tool, and now you can add that. And the thing is, contour tool is still live, and you can then modify this. So you can see, you can tweak it and change it, create a whole range of different designs like that. Like that, say. And you can still gain, go over to the contour tool, and you can still tweak it. However, there's number of settings up here and I'm just going to show you obviously a radius that's exactly the same as this so it's interactive also there's contour types you've got the round one you've got mitre joins so you can see that you can obviously vary these settings obviously depends on the, the point over there whether it's going to do it or not put it down like that and then it's not on those yeah so you can keep it like one and you've got that design there what you can also do now these are not so useful so you can run through that doesn't do anything there However, these are more useful when it's a closed path like this. What you can do, just go over to fill, you've got auto closed, you've got there, now resize that. Obviously this one's not gonna show, let's just quickly. A lot of these sometimes work with certain different shapes. I'm just gonna quickly select this shape, now go back to it, contour, you've got the contour, and again, what I wanted to show was this. So you've got this design. So that's using the force open. It's great for creating a frame design. Now, unfortunately, because I've lost that uh, converted to curves, I can bake appearance. So I bake that in. So now you can see the various points around here. What you can do, you can again go over here to the contour and you can apply it again. And now, of course, what you can do, you can bake appearance in the game. You, unfortunately, you get some of these obviously that gaps in the thing, which is fine, but it's just a, a feature of the way it works. Let's remove that. Let's just go for another shape, this time a circle. Now again, some of the features, the contour, not much use. These sort of things, obviously no use. These are no use with a circle. But again, this is quite useful. So force open, and then you can just make a nice donut or ring design very quickly. And also you can go for closed. So that's quite a useful feature. Remove that one. Let's go for a more, slightly more unusual shape, a star design. So a star design, got a star design there. And then with the star design, of course, what you can do, you can modify the number of points like that, but you can also go here and both are still live. So you can go over to contour tool and with the contour tool, you can just quickly go backwards and forwards and you can create some nice rounded designs like that. But again, go over here, click there, mitre joins, and again, change that get to a certain point and suddenly it will go out some it won't some it will or you can force it all the way out there or if you just want it like that perfectly reasonable and also what you can do you go to the last one bevel joints so that one no use whatsoever rounded certain shapes certain useful but you can quickly run through and find yourself with each shape you have and after a while you get used to which one will not work again no so but you can do this you've got this option here Force open, and again, you've got a lovely ring design there. And you can vary this. And it's still, again, live. So if you want to, you just go back down here to the star tool, with the star tool selected, and you can vary this. 
It obviously can increase that to a certain point and it won't go any further. There's other settings as well. Oops, quite in shape there. Didn't want that. Let's just go for a number of things. You can see that. You can modify. There's a certain point where obviously the, the thing will just not go any further. Outer circle. You can create shapes like that. And again, still go back to the contour. So with the contour there, you can select that and just create all kinds of different designs like that. And you don't have to have a stroke. Of course, I've got a stroke just so it makes it clearer, but you can, of course, reduce that stroke and just go for something like that. And of course, what you can do, you've got that shape, you can duplicate that shape. And of course, it's still live on that one. So again, go over here to the contour and you can tweak that and so on and so on. Now, so let's remove that shape and remove that shape. What you can also do, you can use open pass as well. So I'm just going to go here to the pen tool, click there, click there, click there. Click. You can click all the way around, but I'm just going to go a couple of different shapes. Once you've done that, you can go to the contour. So there's the contour. And again, you just can resize that. And you can see you get a nice. Now, what you can do, you can go over here again, round joins, mitre joins. You can see you get a nice sharp there. Or that one, the bevel join, and but this time they do work to so the caps. So you can see that they do work. It just has to be a particular type of obviously shape being open. Also, you've got options here. Again, sometimes they work more useful than others. You can see change there, change that, and so on. So on. again, what you can do, you can always still again hold down the alter option key and duplicate that design. And you can work with multiple. So you've got, say, like a couple of shapes. Let's go for a couple of shapes here and select all those. And you've got the contour. And again, you can then modify that and change these settings over here as well. So on and so on. And you can see you can create a variety of different designs. And of course, you might have like 20 of these shapes. Let's go and create another one. Let's go to the pen tool and click there, maybe add a little bit of a curve. Maybe not the world's greatest curve, but oh, can't move because I've got a pile of books right next door to me, so I can't actually go any further with a mouse. Okay, so I've just got that design. Well, what you've got, of course, you can go, go over to the contour tool. Again, that one, you can see, select there. Doesn't have any effect. That one. So you can create different designs there again. You've got options there for the mitre. Let's go back to that one and change that. And again, once you're happy with that, what you can do, you can bake appearance. So again, you just go to the nodes, node tool there, and you can see you've got all those points. And of course, then you can manipulate the points like that. So again, let's just go to the pen tool, select there, select there, create that design. Now, I want to modify it. Points, well, obviously I can still modify them at any point. So what I can do, contour, like that. Again, go to the node tool, and I can still modify that. So you can just move it around. You can create all kinds of different zigzag designs like that if you want. Now what you can also again do, hold down the alter option key, and I do love the alter option key. You can duplicate this design. So let's say create multiples there. I'm just going to create about five or six. And of course, I could rotate them. I could do other things as well. The reasonable. So you can see that. Then I'm going to select all of them. Let's yep, select all of those. And again, still over here to the contour. Go to that contour tool. It's still live. So you can create some very abstract designs very quickly by changing different settings here. Like that and it's still again still live so if you want to go to the node tool you can still modify these settings and of course things will suddenly disappear as you stretch them to certain points do that and go to mode and then go back to that and round them all off if you want to so that's a run through of the contour. I'm certain there's even more features that are in the contour. But of course, once you've done that, you can also bake appearance. So it's all frozen into one set of paths. 
and you've got your design there, which you, of course, can manipulate again if you want. And just click go over to the contour tool, and you can see you can then duplicate that out. And again, always you can always copy, Control C, then extend it out, and then Control V to put them back in again, and so on and so on. You can also fill the contour. So you've got this design, it's an open path. What you can do, you can go over here to the contour, and I'm just going to quickly extend that out. And you, of course, can vary. You can do all the usual sort of things. You can that, run through different settings. Once you've done that, you can go over here to fill and maybe set it to red. And it's still live, so you can always change it. And you can still go to the contour and you can still continue to modify it. But what you can also do, you can fill it with something more interesting than just red. Well, not any problem with red particularly. But what you can do, you can go down to the, like here, to the fill tool. Might should be called the gradient tool. I don't know since it creates a gradient, but anyway. We think it's called, we think it's a bit odd when it's called there, fill tool, especially when you've got stroke option. Seems a bit confusing. Is it called a stroke tool when it's that? However, you can go with the gradient there and you can modify that gradient. And of course you can vary the gradient. You can add additional points. And maybe make that blue. And it's still, still live. So you can still modify that. And again, go over here to the contour and still vary the contour like that. But also what you can do with the, just going down there again, you see this sign, you can go here to type, you can go to bitmap. With bitmap, what you can do, you can select anything. So I'm just gonna select one of my files here, one of those ones. And you can see design there, of course, you can resize it, you can got here wrap, you can go for mirror. So you can create a lovely, beautiful design. And it's still, if you go over to the contour, still live. So you can obviously modify any of these settings if you want. I think the rounded one looks nice. And you can still, of course, modify that. And of course, you could create multiple paths, all with different fills, of course, as well. But also what you can do, you can, of course, let's, and it's a bit hard now because I can't see the uh, points. Oh, there's the points. Actually, that's quite nice. They come out with white, so you can actually see. It. You can still, of course, manually change that, modify the path and create different designs that and still gain go back to the contour like that and still continue to modify that design if you want and still if you want go back to the gradient and still modify that as well and of course what you can also do you've got layer and you've got a variety of different options you can always add new adjustment as well so on top of that so let's go for something that's i think so uh, maybe invert let's just go for a basic invert so you can invert it so i've got an invert adjustment there. It's still, of course, that curve contour is still live. As long as you select the right thing, you can see design there. So you've got that adjustment as well as this, as well as the grading, as well as the points. So you can create a variety of different designs simply by doing this. And of course, what you can still do, you can still resize it, still rotate it, squeeze it in like that. You can also shear the design and much, much more. I'm certain there's even more things. There's a certain point where you've got to stop. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about, obviously, Finity Designer, Finity Photo, and many others. Also, please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding virtually daily. Also, please go and check the graphicextras.com website because I'm always adding tutorials on there, maybe with a lot more explanation and lots of images, obviously, showing various things about this uh, See Affinity Designer as well as Affinity Photo and many others. Also, any comments? It's always great to hear some comments, things that I did wrong, things maybe I went too fast or whatever. Please let me know. Always great to know. And also a dislike or like. Always appreciated. Thank you much.